What's going on guys? It's four o'clock in the morning and I'm going to play some ranked. More specifically, I'm going to play this lovely little deck that I just created. And when I say created, I mean I slightly adjusted this Jinx deck. But it's literally just a Jinx deck. It's all about, you know, drawing, discarding cards, discard Jinx, Jinxy discard, I don't know, whatever. Um, there's a couple other weird cards like this in there just because I needed, like, you know, stuff to throw away or just stuff for early pressure. Um, I'm really trying to figure out what is the best other region to put with this deck and Right now I'm using Noxus just because of not because of that I can actually show you because of cards like vision which do work when you discard them, which is pretty good um, The arena bookie helps you kind of draw get crappier cards out and get a better card in your deck um, This one again. It's just a low-cost card that does damage. It's gonna help um, you know, some Stuff like that. I'm trying this card out too recently and I still have an issue fighting against decks that have good mid to late game. So that's pretty much all it is. And yeah, it's a really fun deck. It's very aggressive. Uh, I'm thinking about making Shadow Owls next. I'm, you know, I don't really know. But uh, yeah. All right, we got a match going against Chaos with Garen, Brom, and Trendemir, which is all like kind of tanky late games. And I actually get a game with with this i actually start off first so i'll keep that i should probably no actually keeping this is not that bad i actually had a pretty good hand we'll start off with the fearsome precious pet um i think i see it this is like uh this is turn one i think i see the chakra i'm actually here you can't block me all right, so we just turn one. I think we do this turn two. Uh, and then hopefully turn three, we get something like yes, so we can discard something and then I'll we'll have to. Mm. I want to. I want to keep my minion specifically for the fact that. Um, Happy to do whatever's needed. Just because of the fact that I have a spell, I have visions, and the more monsters that I have out in the field is better for me. I could even play this next turn, but I'd rather just discard it. Like, it's the same thing, one cost for one. And I got two of them, which is still pretty good for me. Alright, so we're just going to play aggressive here. Anything else? I'm hoping he plays something here, kind of lowering his hand, and then we can get a really big attack going off. If he doesn't play anything, okay, he plays that. Oh, that's e Mwah. beautiful. I'd be mad. There's a lot of damage that he's gonna have to uh, block. He's probably gonna, depending on what he wants to block. Now he's not Ionia, so he can't deny anything. He can boost these monsters up. Oh, baby. And then, depending on what it is, we're just gonna swing. Me? Potentially losing eight damage here. He's gonna block at least something. He shouldn't block this though. I, I would be kind of don't block that. He, don't give me a free card. But hey. so he's gonna go for a trade of two, uh, two, two. That's good. So this is what I mean. How aggressive this deck is. Boom! Just took six off of him. Now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna play Jinx at the end of the turn. Yeah, it's the arena bookie, that's fine. So we're gonna play Jinx at the end of the turn because I don't want her to get hit by anything. I wanna let him spend his stuff. That's relatively good, in my opinion. Rules are made to be broken. I mean, I could have still messed up there. I don't think he has a spell in those two things, yeah. That card's kind of annoying. Alright, so he could have he could have actually attacked and pulled me and then maybe did some funny stuff. He could still do it actually, and that's why I shouldn't have brought that. Okay, so he's trying to take the fearsome out because the fearsome is kind of something annoying. I understand that. Cool. Now, hopefully, we get something to empty out our hand. Now, I can empty out my hand. I'm gonna play this first. Hopefully he can't do anything to my Jinx. He has the power to, but I'm trying to empty out my hand to see if I can. And then we could play the the rocket. Oh no, I won't even get the rocket, so I should have just attacked. I'll get the Evo anyway. 
to level up. I don't know. I still call it evil because of Shadowverse. No one's the wiser. All right, so we're in a really good spot here. I actually sometimes I don't even like attacking with Jinx because they could do something to it. I'm gonna attack with this. Uh, I'm gonna definitely attack with that. Uh, he hasn't used anything, so I'm assuming he's gonna play that that five drop, that five five that like boosts up stuff in the deck. I think I'm still gonna pressure. Mm. I'm not actually. The reason being is that he could trade or do something weird, and I just don't feel like it. I, I need to draw. My hand is empty, and I want to draw next turn. He's going to do that trade. He's going to double trade. This is great. That means he does have something good in his hand. Exactly. And that's what it was. So even though that wouldn't have killed anything that I had, so I should have attacked with Jinx, but... With that much mana, you have to kind of respect it a little bit. Even even if it's slightly, you got to respect it. Now, which is beautiful is that we drew that card, and now that's going to instantly get turned away thanks to our Arena Bookie. And then that's going to get summoned out, so pretty good. Let's see if he has another card to follow up, which I'm assuming he does. The Demacian Soldier is worth tenfold. Okay, that's fine. I don't care. I'm going to get that lovely mana, the Espel mana. Bookie's Boom. Choice. That interacted very weirdly. Uh, okay, we still have a, a fun little play here. I can actually play every single card in my hand, which is cool. Now let's see what he decides to do. Does he go for the Demacia? I, I hate this card. These two cards I feel like are too slow. He can play it though, if he plays, if he does play it. Now, I guess that is a threat because he's going to make this strong enough to actually kill my Jinx. Which really does suck. <laughs> that actually does suck. Stand strong. I'm actually assuming that's the only reason why he's doing this. And Jinx will not even kill it. The sump rock got me good. There's a blast from the past. So my hope is that Harry, report. You are told. Aha. Yeah, there it is. We march. We're gonna do that, block that, and we're gonna block that. Oh fine, I can't do anything about it. We drew rummage. We can draw into another Jinx. Uh, un unfortunately, in this deck, and it's gonna sound funny that I say this is a. Uh... I'm gonna keep this because I'm only drawing one card, so I can rummage both the cards. I actually only have two Jinx. Oh, I forgot. I keep forgetting that that's how that works. All right, so this is a burst spell, which is really good. So I can just use it without actually losing my turn. It'd be really nice if we can draw into my other Jinx, and we don't. Now, I could be really greedy here, and then play the Arena Bookie, and then play this. And I kind of feel like doing that. My deck pretty much falls apart at this point, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, if they kill my Jinx, <laughs> I pretty much lose. That's why I need to put another champion in there, or just have better or stronger cards. Like, why am I using Crowd Favorite? Oh, I know why, because this happens. And I was like, eh, it might not be that bad. I can play him later. And then, like, have a really strong Overwhelm card for later in the game. And force some uncomfortable trades on my opponent. But that's what happens when you don't have all the cards you want. You know? Okay. My money. The people are my strength. The sea, my favorite client. How you been? Oh, I didn't even know they had an interaction. That's funny. All right, so it makes sense though, because he's a gladiator kind of thing. It was right on my tail. Okay, so we're just gonna attack with our big guy, Glory. and he could block it with whatever he wants. Really, he should keep this because who knows what he can do with it. He also has Freljord, so he can actually boost it up pretty nicely. We're gonna pierce through, which is nice one for us. Lovely. Hopefully, um, the arena bookie helps us draw into Jinx. And I can't even play this card. Awesome. 
But he doesn't know that. He doesn't know what we got. He doesn't know that we're faking. <laughs> so we have enough cards here to, to block, like to gimp block a lot of stuff until I actually get something good or have like an overwhelming force. So I'm hoping for that. He doesn't have Noxus, so he can't insta-kill this. There goes that. That that really sucks for me. Run them through. Pause it there. Glory unrelenting. That's actually smart. So we're gonna lose this card. It's a pretty good, decent card, but I have to lose it. Hopefully, then we can draw it into Jinx and start. No, we got that and the other thing. Now he can block uh, this with uh, his 4-3. So I think at this point I pretty much lose. Oh yeah, look at that. This big fat minion. He actually can block this. Actually, what he should do is just block, if I attack with this, block it with Trendomir. He'll take two damage, who cares? And uh, yeah, it takes two damage and then this becomes what, a 10-10, 9-9? Nine, nine? Yeah, 9-9. Nine, nine. And then all my minions are low on health, so I really can't do anything about it. it. Has these two big attackers too. I only got 10 HP. I really just need the other Jinx. I think I'm gonna. I want to run that that race that has. I forgot which race it was, it, but it has um. Insta draw champion, and then I can run solo Jinx, and it wouldn't be that bad. And then here we go. We got visions, which came in at the wrong time that's the only issue with this deck is that everything has to come in at a certain time like a time frame that makes sense yep no matter what i do it's over <laughs> oh well can't say we didn't try let's try one more time that was a fluke that was a fluke okay it's like we're fighting the same deck <laughs> I mean, to be fair, a lot of, I heard, you know, the meta is like elusive right now, so I'm pretty sure they just want to have like these really, like strong decks or something like that. Trying to, I was trying to enjoy the Jinx. I had a decent hand there actually, and I was just trying to enjoy the Jinx, didn't get it. Where's my axe? So if you guys have any suggestions on either a different region to, I almost okay, didn't attack. Ready. Uh, like a different region. I think I think uh, Noxus is a good region to do it, but I've been trying to figure out possibly there might be some other strategies. I feel like we're using Rummage right now just to get a hand, but I have to drop my hand a little bit. But like like this is crazy. Seven damage like already. Like if you have a remotely bad hand against me like you're gonna take a lot of damage actually he's gonna take seven damage right now provided he doesn't have a spell to stop it i can even ping his face and then make that uh nine damage but i'd rather keep this for dealing with the minion let's see what he plays i can even kill the next monster it, it, which is kind of useless though I could also rummage these things. I could actually play this, so when I rummage, it, it gets really, really strong. Gotcha. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna play this. And then save the two mana. And then we can rummage, see, we'll probably rummage this and something else. Uh, not not this turn though, like the next turn, and that would be a lot of attack. Let's see if what other minion he's gonna play. I'm pretty sure he's gonna play something else. There we go. He has that silly card. I can even play this now too, right? A foray into the field. How exciting! Not gonna block with anything, but I will ping this thing. New recruit reporting in. I might as well ping it now. All 
Alright, so what I'm hoping for is to get like uh the scar the scrap or something like that, so we can get a thing. Oh two damage to face. Alright, so we're gonna just boom boom. We got chompers. Anything to fill up our mana. These things are four twos. So he's gonna block this and we should get seven damage through. Okay, ready. You know, outside of him having a spell or something like that, obviously. Um, and then our hand again. This is the only problem is that it's very hyper aggressive. Like, look how much damage I'm putting out. He actually dies if he doesn't block anything, right? Whoa. So, like, um, I, if I was him, I'd probably just yeah block those two. I don't know if he has a spell. He could have a spell, and you know, then we have this and this as a follow up. Like, technically, what I should have did. If, if I was not being super, super greedy, I would play the choppers and then like drag one of his things so he couldn't block. So here goes the spell. And this is why this game is so good is because you actually have balancing. So, oh, okay, I hate this card. It's clearing my whole field. Yeah. And then my deck kind of just loses from that point. There's not much I could do. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I'm just gonna surrender. Uh, next turn, you can just play all my Demacia friends or whatever. Like I was kind of saying, even though those are two losses and I always hate showing losses, you know, but it's the reality, man. When you're deck building, that's what this is the reality of deck building is that you're gonna go in, the deck that you think was good is not gonna be as good. And I've gotten a couple of victories, but I've had more difficulties. And that's kind of what I wa why I wanted to make the videos because I feel like I need I need some help. Like what 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 else can you really run with this deck? I feel like Noxus is a good region. You know, I could even run the spiders to like kind of like help out a little bit. But I feel like it's just missing some oomph. I saw a couple other cards that are in other regions that might be able to do better. But at the end of the day, I think that this one is the best. But and I also just want to make maybe the revive deck to, uh, when you keep killing stuff and stuff. I might just go Shadow Isles and make a Shadow Isles deck. Or if there's this deck you guys suggest, uh, maybe I can make that as well. I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, I'll, I'll try. You know, you only got so much. I still don't have a champion wild card. <laughs> I'm just trying to get that. Um, you know, I only got 11 of these. It's really hard. It, it, it's, it really shows that you got to make really good decisions. Make a really good deck abuse it and then win online all day or like me lose all day but that's all good hope you guys enjoyed the video just remember that every day at the cashino is your lucky day and i'll see you guys in the next video peace